Hey Camp Elevation, today I'm going to walk you through the steps for the dice um, craft, how to make your own dice, okay? So I found these at Walmart, they're like $3 for a five pack, and I thought these were really good because they're cute little squares and you already have the shape for your dice, which will be really easy for your little preschoolers that are making these. And they're already white, so you have to build them. Okay, so this is gonna, we'll see if we, I can build this. But you're gonna have to build them prior to the kids um, doing the craft. So I would suggest have your camp counselor or have you at the end of the day or before the campers come to build these. Okay, so you're gonna need 20 because each kid's gonna make their own, um, their own dice. So I'm gonna see, there aren't instructions. So I'm gonna try my best. We're gonna put this. Oh yeah, okay, it's easy. So you use the flaps here. So you have this piece in the middle. You put that inside, and then you have these two pieces that attach here, like that. Okay, so you have one side. Look at that. And then we're gonna do the other side the same way. Make sure the middle piece is on the inside, and then you connect the two pieces just like that all right so we have our box here all right now we have our box I'm going to now put the lid inside it will fold down all right and then you're going to just fold in this tab like that to close it up now Here's your box. I'm going to duct tape my box because it's very flimsy. So I would absolutely suggest that part of the craft for your preschoolers is they um, help you put the duct tape on our um, on their box to make it more secure. So I have white duct tape here. What I would suggest y'all do is you have the strips and you um, measure it out how much you think can go around. Oops not do that Oops, there you go so get your piece just kind of guess how much you need how much each kid's gonna need and then you rip it and then you can give it to them and they can um you can show them like the first step and then it doesn't have to be perfect mine's not gonna be perfect but then you're just gonna wrap the box with your duct tape again they can have fun with this I just have white duct tape. That's what I have available. So that's what I'm using. But if they, if you have multiple colors of duct tape, let them have fun with it. Let them take home a pink dice or a purple dice or um, a blue dice. Does that make sense? Just let them, let them have fun with it. Um, and so that is what I'm going to do. Um, so I'm gonna. So I have my piece here. I've already done one piece. I got probably three here, and then I gotta do three on the other side. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna pause the video, do that, and then I'll come back and show you the next step. I have my entire box duct taped. Again, y'all have more fun with this. Add some color to it. Um, I just used what I had. But now we have our box or our dice. Now we're going to draw on the um, circles. And this is where I really want y'all to emphasize the numbers because pre cares are still learning numbers one all the way through six. So I would take some time and I would draw on the whiteboard all the six sides and how many are on there. And then I would make, I would write down one underneath, two underneath three, just so we are having fun, making a craft, a fun craft for games week, but also we're making sure that we're teaching the students um that educational piece too and how to count all right so i have a sharpie i chose black let's see if i can no i have no other i don't have a color so i'm gonna again stick with black stick with the classic but again have fun with it if they want to do um a few different color sharpies absolutely they can um do that just make sure with sharpies you have to use sharpie on duct tape or it's going to come off but make sure that the kids are not using the Sharpies. So I would have them, if it was me, I would suggest getting them um, a pencil and letting them make a circle. Although that's kind of tough to see. Um, 
but have them use a um, you can't you probably can't even see it but there's my circle and pencil you can lightly see it so you could always have them draw pencil and draw or if you just want to be like hey they're gonna do the duct tape piece and then I'm gonna go back and draw the circles that's totally fine as well um, you can also give them the options of making not just circles but you could do stars or squares or ovals um, you could get really complicated like do flowers but I'm going to stick with circles um, because I can draw circles. But um, you can, y'all, you y'all decide how fun you want to have and what type of choices you want the campers to have. So I'm going to draw the the circles on here, and then I'll come back and show you the final product. All right, so I have my dice here all drawn. Use the sharpie. I use the thick sharpie. I'll show you. I use this two sided sharpie which is really helpful because I used this point to draw on the circles and then I had this side which is a little thicker you can see it's one of the thicker ones and that really helped when I was coloring in it got it got good coverage um, and it really helped make sure that it was a good solid black so this is the dice and then they can be able to roll it let them play with it um remind them to um say the number like if they're playing with it and they roll it remember remind them to say the number now that i'm thinking about it i would even suggest maybe you could even write the number the name of the number so like on here i could write one and then i could write four on um the side if you wanted to um just so they just so the parents see that we're trying to help teach them um, with their uh, with their numbers. All right. So this is the Games Week dice craft for our pre-K campers, and y'all know where to find me if you have any questions. Bye.